mean, so I did that whole rant, and we weren't even recording yet. God, I feel yeah, like that's... you're gonna have to repeat it later for dramatic <laughs> Re-rant? effect or something. Uh, no. Hey there, folks. I'm Zerfo. Oh, hey, I'm Bobo the Vulture, and we are back on the Septimus Two. Yep. And last time, I believe the cassowary went uh, went AWOL, uh, taking the second android and presumably the doctor with it after yeah. he was knocked unconscious. And we've kind of got to talk to... We've got to talk to computer AI, which is undergoing a certain effect. And what is that effect called? Sir that Paul? effect is called Psyoblade. It's the name of the game. It's computer right. brain cancer. That's right. The computer brain has cancer in it, and the cancer is called the Psyoblade effect. Yes. So, I mean, we've been whittled down to a crew of five, I guess. Uh, yeah. And um, for people that have only been following on YouTube, there may be some spoilers involved here. Yes. Oh. Aberration detected. Gathering exception report. Okay, so I think we finished talking to him about all his little things. It's more about talking to the people now. <laughs> Dick, Mock, what the hell are you talking about? Huh? What's happening now? Yeah, maybe a... Uh, <laughs> maybe a marathon stream to help the... Help computer. Help uh, computer. Yeah, and stop all the good. downloads might... Uh, <laughs> might help it get better. What the hell is happening? You said you knew how to disarm the bomb. Oh, I lied. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on, Holmes? Hold on, I'll get confirmation now. Oh, jeez, I can only push buttons with my right hand. Well, what's <laughs> going on? Well, I still need to get a confirmation sponsor and talk to a priest. Oh, I mean, uh, if the engine's functioning properly, there may be an aberration of the radiator outside the ship. What could have happened to it? I honestly don't know. I'm kind of surprised there's a radiator in a spaceship that's traveling out where there's no atmosphere for air to pass through and cool things. But the radiator seems to be the problem. Well, what's going on? <laughs> he just keeps... What can you tell me about what's going on? If you just keep asking the same question, expecting different results, you must be in Psyoblade. <laughs> if the engine's functioning properly, there may be an aberration in the radiator outside the ship. Alright. Oh no! What are we gonna do? Any updates, Michael? Michael, give me a damn minute. <laughs> I want some updates, Michael. What should we do? We have to think of a way to fix it. <sighs> Any up? Any up? <laughs> Give me a damn minute. It's a damn minute. What if, if we talk to him? If your computer AI has brain cancer, you might be in Psyoblade. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same. Oh, maybe we can talk to the computer again. Yeah, maybe we can help it. <laughs> can you give us a status update? If my data is accurate, the Septimus will explode in 1,200 seconds. What? I said it will explode in 1,200 seconds, although now it's more like 1,920. One moment, please. I must respond to Michael's query. Oh, Michael asked a question without telling us. Any updates? I hear you uh, submitted a query. <laughs> Yeah, just ask a question. Raccoon's right. The engine has a safety system that prevents it from being damaged. When that system activates, the reactor stops. The magnetic force stabilizing the bomb will disappear. And then... Boom goes the dynamite. This is no That's joke! To the man. <laughs> Damn straight. That bomb explodes out here in space. It won't just kill us. It'll destroy the solar system. Not the solar system. And feminine. This is the computer room. Yeah, whatever <laughs> happened to her? She's still... Uh... Man, we're in deep shit, Michael. Isn't there anything we can do? You're the... No. I'm checking on that now. I can't believe this. 
I don't believe it. Oh, go, go, 13. And he just moonwalks out of the room. <laughs> I have discussed the situation with Michael. It is now up to him to find a plausible solution. All right, Michael, what do you got? I've reviewed the data from Raccoon. Come to think of it, normally Raccoon could fix this problem. However, level 5 is out of its control right now, and a slow repair would cause the reactor to overheat and shut down. Therefore, our top priority is getting the engine to function independently. It'll take some work to generate deceleration energy and enough power to stabilize the bomb, though. Raccoon, what's our course of action? They just keep passing this hot potato back and forth. A ship's engine is its heart, and it will stop or function independently in certain situations. A ship's engine is where it feels love. <laughs> In the case of the Septimus, issues with the ship's exterior will shut off the reactor, but internal issues will cause the engine to function independently. I see. Well, there's a coolant pipe attached to the fuel pellet dispenser and the laser oscillator is used for ignition. What if we break that pipe? Affirmative. That will allow the engine to function independently. But hold on there. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. <laughs> Do we just want to go around cracking pipes? <laughs> Apparently, Raccoon should ask, what would Jesus do? Just keep listening. Go on, Raccoon. Very well. The sensors that monitor engine function cover three areas of the radiator system. The radiator body, the intake valve, and the part connected to the reactor. <laughs> that one doesn't it doesn't have a, doesn't have a doesn't particular have a name. Term. Uh, it would prevent the radiator or intake valve from breaking down and causing damage to the reactor shuts off after 1,200 seconds if the sensors deem long-term functionality impossible. The reactor's computer is protected by an anti-magnetic field, so it should be able to perform this task without fail. So we'll disguise the problem as coolant loss in the engine room. We break the pipe, smoke and coolant pours out, and no more coolant comes through. Then the computer will think the problem's inside the ship. Hey, I'm that computer. <laughs> Unless the issue inside the ship prevents engine function, the computer, that's me, will simply allow the engine to function independently at minimal operation. Because of this, the engine can be utilized without the radiator. So even if the sensors in that area break, the engine will keep on working. But, if the reactor is broken, it's game over, yeah. That's right, JG. The part connected to the reactor is one of the parts we threw at uh, Arthur. <laughs> it's bounced off. There should be some explosives in the storehouse. Use them to blow up the water pipe. There are several pipes in the engine room. But you'll know the water pipe when you see it. Don't use too many explosives, though, or you'll damage the engine. You're sending me? But this is a matter of life and death. To the brain. <laughs> Are you busy disarming the bomb or making the orbital calculations to chase after the cassowary? If the ship stalls out, we'll be stuck here forever. You've already been over there once. You're familiar with where the bomb is and where the engine room's airlock. Yeah, and with the engine room airlock. You can do the job quickly and we're on a limited time here. According to Raccoon's calculations, we've maybe got 600 seconds left. I understand. I'll go. Thank you. Wait, so is this actually a situation where we should have really gone through the dialogue faster because it seems like we've lost more than half our time? Keith! Don't worry, it'll, it'll be okay. I'm coming with you. No, we don't have time for that right now! <laughs> it's way too dangerous, just wait here. But... If that's what I want to see. It's alright, I'm not gonna die or anything. I promise I'll come back said everyone that ever died in a movie. Keith. Well, I'll see you later. I'm just two weeks from retirement. Be careful, Keith. Robert, I'm going. Thank you, Keith. We're counting on you. Oh, and away we go. Boy, this is serious stuff. I have to do my best, or we're all as good as dead. I can't let everyone down like that time I threw parts at a robot. Oh. oh no, what's going on? There's a bunch of like alien spaceships flying towards us. I have to shoot at least 200 of them. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to throw a little save state down here because... 
I'm gonna call it boom. Wait, are you sure that this is okay? Yeah. I want to make sure you're saving and not loading. Of course, if you tried to load, boom, I'm not sure what would happen. Hey, why should I pretend to run off? No one else is here. I have to hurry the to the engine room. If the reactor shuts off, we're all screwed. Now, where are those explosives? Yeah, I love how apparently here they are. To... I'll take two and call him. Call them in the morning. I I don't I don't understand why we have to break a pipe, and so the only way that we're going to be able to do this is using explosives. Well, it's... like you couldn't just hit the pipe or something. This pipe sends in deuterium, which is used as fuel. It's the lifeline of the Septimus primary propulsion system. The secondary propulsion system is under this block. That's the cooling system pipe. Water comes in from it. Oh, okay. The heated coolant goes into the radiator through this pipe. That's the pipe that sends in helium-3 fuel. All right, so the reason why I saved state is that I wonder if... You can blow up the wrong thing. Blow up the wrong thing. Although, what if he's... you hit that giant yellow shining hazard button? This is the fuel pellet accelerator. It's in the center of the engine. This is the Julian. fuel pellet. Yeah. So, this is the core of the Septimus Two. The engine room inside the two system engine is the nuclear pulse block for the primary propulsion systems. That's the supercomputer used exclusively for the production system, the propulsion systems. Aha, so there's a secondary computer. So this is the computer that uh, the other computer was talking about all cattily. Oh, that computer will think that something is wrong and cause us to uh, blow up. I mean, something is wrong, but it'll think that something other than what is wrong is wrong. So here's the thing. This game never really gives us the, hey, use an item thing. Yeah, I suppose it doesn't. Uh, unless you hit something and then, um, like, move. Yeah, sometimes you'll have an option other than move or save on a particular uh, piece. Move, save, set explosive. Well, that's, that's actually normally uh, a different button. And that button right now is just giving us... Looking at stuff? Looking at stuff options. Don't run away! So, like, I found the water tank, and I've got the explosives, or the water pipe. And I wanted yep. to try to use the wrong pipe and too many explosives, but, uh... It's not really letting me do anything. Wait, what's this big main one in the middle? That's a high-energy pipe. It's connected to the ignition system's energy capacitor, which works like a laser gun! Oh, Whoa, man, if I set off the explosives led... here, it'll damage the reactor. We should have we led Arthur down here. We could have shot at him with the, uh core that worked like a laser cannon. So apparently you can't set the explosives off somewhere dumb. This is the perfect spot. I'll detonate the explosives and make it run for it. Here goes. How about... Oh god, he didn't wait at all. <laughs> I was going to say, he said I'll detonate the explosives and make a run for it. How about making a run for it then detonating the explosives? Yes. Mission accomplished. Now, I'll hurry back. Yes. And then he slowly floats away. And he floats in the exact same way. With his hand. <laughs> he, I'm a little teapot. <laughs> Uh-oh. He really probably should have tethered himself to the... Huh? What the hell? Oh my god! It's Jean! Why is she... Oh no! She's the one who messed with our engine! She's gonna mess with me next! Oh no. Oh, and is she able to be out here in space without uh, a suit? Yes, because she's an android. Okay, I can fight or shoot her. I can only choose the option fight or shoot. Let's try shoot. Yep. Take this, you bitch. Get away from her. You bitch. Whoa, my gun. <laughs> Shit! Did I get her? Damn it, it didn't work. What should I do now? 
How about shoot some more? Shoot! Oh, uh, I'm out of bullets again! Why do I only ever bring five? Uh-oh. Keith attempted to attack Jean, but he was unarmed, and she easily overpowered him. Thus, the Septimus II exploded in a matter of hours. All was well, shrouded too. in darkness, and the truth remained hidden. Game over. And also, the whole solar system exploded, apparently. Also, our leg, our limbs became significantly longer than our torso. <laughs> That's what happens when a ro when an android rips you limb from limb, but then doesn't go all the way through with it. All right, there you so. go, folks. It's possible to lose this game. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be possible when they weren't letting us put the explosives in the wrong spot. Oh, no, are. we're going to have to do the pixel hunt again. Well, uh, now I know the, the six points we need to hit. Uh, it's like the Garvin Stump. Go hit all the bits and pieces. That's the perfect spot. Boom! Boom. <laughs> and the future refused to change. Alright, I'm gonna kind of throw an extra save down here. Just in case uh, you, you you needed to fight in some other means. Fight it out. All right, let's, uh... We were an idiot and decided to try and do hand-to-hand -hand combat with a cyborg. Damn it! Drastic times call for drastic, drastic measures! Or an android, sorry. And then you just instantly <laughs> float away. Keith attempted to attack Jean, but come on, she's a friggin' android. Yeah, this is like the time Krillin tried to fight a, an android. Oh, man. All right, this time we'll do things right. It's a sad thing that your adventures in space have to end here. So, apparently in combat situations, you're just supposed to pick the bottom one over. Look at her smirk as she gets shot. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's not been shot yet. <laughs> she's no-selling it. Well, I mean, sure. Now she's going to start, like, shaking her head and wagging her finger and, like, putting her lips into a perfect circle and doing a blowfish impression. It's going to be fantastic. All right. We have no bullets, I guess we shoot. I guess we use our explosives. Eh. Thankfully you're out in space and you don't have to put too much force behind something to make it move forever. This is- We were out of bullets! How did you he liar. shoot again? Keith, you liar! You're only out of bullets if you try to shoot her. <laughs> How'd you like that? Shit, <laughs> it didn't work! <laughs> What should I do now? Oh, she's hanging on for dear life, though. Maybe you can... Oh, man. Maybe is... you can stomp on her fingers. Fight. If I die, I'm taking you down with me, Gene. This ends now. And then he floats in space. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be a slightly different ending where, like, he takes her yeah. with him, yeah, but yeah. everyone still explodes. <laughs> Easily overpowered. <laughs> Keith was made to look like a total bitch by the android lady. Apparently shooting her also doesn't work. I used my last bullet that I didn't have before on that bomb. Contact her. Come in, cockpit. Do you read me? I need full throttle on the stern, Stern's vernier thrusters immediately. Hurry. Did no can do, buddy. they not hear me? Damn it, the jeans headed this way. Now's my chance, but I'm out of bullets and explosives. Shit. Come in, cockpit. Rev up the vernier thrusters now. Oh. No, vernier thrusters. Sick burn. Oh, no. No. Oh, I kind of no, thought we fine. wanted that to I happen. Thought, I thought she was turning into a robot, but still... Uh, oh, you thought that she was going to turn into... Like, like just like the skin burned off and she was like, going to come yeah, out. Yeah, melted off uh, face. Final final scene in any given movie, T-800. Mm. Uh, I did it. I'm safe. 
Huh? Well, what the hell? What the hell indeed? It's the Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Multi-form boss, yeah. <laughs> I was only using one-tenth of one percent of my strength. The cassowary, it's back! Quick! To the airlock! I seriously thought that that was, like, someone else in a spacesuit just floating free. Whoa! Hey, she's quite feminine, isn't she? I was gonna say, <laughs> you ain't kidding. Thank God you're alright. Thank goodness! No kid, I'm glad you're still with us. Looks like you're very excited about the prospect, too. But how are you able to follow the cassowary? Well, I was awoke by a great deal of noise. And then I noticed the cassowary separating from the Septimus. I ran into the cockpit and was shocked to find the doctor lying on the floor. So, the doctor was trying to escape by himself. That's it! Gene, the android who attacked us, must have gotten sucked into space when the air tube was disconnected. Then she grabbed onto the engine of the Septimus and tried to destroy it. Wow, this game has like a couple of different sequences where they just provide a lot of exposition to explain things that happened away from the perspective of our main character. I didn't really know what was happening, but I was able to command the cassowary to return to the Septimus. It's quite an incredible machine. Dang. Now everyone knows that any fool can pilot it. <laughs> oh, he's been playing it up like it's been hard the whole time. Are you talking about me? You're the only fool around here. I, mean, <laughs> I think he is. No, I, I met someone else. Dang. That's cold, Bob. This is why I like Robert better. <laughs> He's just messing with you, kid. Now let's return to Earth. Wait, what? It's Now it's easy to get back to Earth? Well, I thought we I needed think... to get the bomb away from Earth. <laughs> Keith, I'm so glad you're safe. I'm glad you're safe too. And that I have a completely different face in this picture. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I wanted you to die on fire. <laughs> huh? Did I say something wrong? Not and then she holds she holds up a condom. She's like, no, I'm glad you're safe. Ah, got it. <laughs> oh, Keith, don't worry about it. Wait, are both of their teeth oh! shining? Wait, what? No, they're not going to kiss. They're just going to make smiley photo. faces and turn into... Of course, in the future, they go back to... Uh, well, in the future, they've got Instagram. Sepia. What is it? Sepia. Sepia, girl. Sepia. sepia tone. Whatever you want to. Sepia, sepia. But yeah, in the future, they use Instagram filters. Oh, July 10th. 2113, the Septimus 2 landed in Von Braun, capital of the moon. The crew of the cassowary returned to Earth. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, hey, look, everybody's dressed up oh, in futuristic. Got, uh... Oh, I hope they don't get hit, attacked by aliens during the. Yeah! <laughs> People of Earth, there are some shocking facts that we must relate to you. Please, hear us out. Hear, hear out. me out as the lowest ranked person on this mission. <laughs> that is some, for some reason, the spokesman for all of us. <laughs> we see them kiss with those hideous mouths. <sighs> Possibly. And then it just goes back to the Sega boot screen. <laughs> They're nope. like, check this scene out. <laughs> we know you wanted to look at this some more. It's just playing the, the story in reverse. <laughs> yeah, so you caught the last 10 minutes. I, I didn't realize the game was so close to done. It really seemed like they just suddenly stopped. 
they really are just playing everything in reverse now. Yeah. Now, if you have only been following on YouTube, JG, uh, you will uh, you will have missed maybe like one episode, two episodes in the middle. Two. Two. There but stuff two. goes down, man. Well, Still worth a I watch. Although you're seeing them. it in reverse now. Uh, one of them, there's not a whole lot of story that happens. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> And don't you want to see when it is that uh, Baldi turns uh, super evil like that? Non-stop people being robots. There are only like two robots. <laughs> Come on. Don't let's, give it uh... away. Oh, right. Maybe, there's, <laughs> there's, like, only... maybe there's like 40 robots. There's only zero robots. Ah, oh, the program engineer was Racky No Papa. No Papa. Please. Look at that parallax scrolling. Sega always did have lots of parallax scrolling. It did what Nintendo didn't, because Nintendo is just like, oh, we can use Mode 7. We'll just zoom the backgrounds in and out. It'll be <laughs> fine. I, I think you was laughing at something else. <laughs> she doesn't really dig on my Mode 7 humor. <laughs> <laughs> She's more about the blast processing joke. Now, you'll have to check this uh, out at the end, Bobo, when uh, it gets up on YouTube, because there's some pretty uh, pretty, pretty slamming music. music. Nice. Some wailing guitars. I will admit, like, uh, one thing that people go crazy about uh, on the uh, on the Genesis is, like, the music chipset, and, like, it's definitely got a specific kind of sound, which, uh, if you gained a fondness for it, I, you know, they, they, they don't make them like that anymore. Raika no Papa also did music. And, yeah. He was the music composer and also the special music composer. So probably he also composed this. Oh, man. There's the early on shock death scene. It seems like she's really shocked at what happened. And he's like, I can't believe she's holding my hand. This is the best day of my life. Uh, well, it did turn out to be the best day of his life because... Uh, like by the end of this one day uh, he was slowly moving towards her as her face started to change animation frames mm. and then they got the sepia tone photographed remember that part where they were flying backwards through space and it looked like he was giving his own helmet a raspberry <laughs> <laughs> hey like, scenario assistant break it no papa Look, Raika no Pop. This was this this whole game was just a a a a, a love labor of Raika no Papa. He was involved in in everything wherever he could possibly be. Oh no! Oh no! What have I done to myself? There we go. Uh -huh. Doing things. Stuff. I'm gonna see if I can find some like credits for this guy. What's he doing? Oh, wow, we re special thankfulness. Oh, Teeny thought they don't. T they no one cares about. What about no Papa? Oh, I mean, he can't specially thank himself. I mean, obviously he's the one who put together special these credits. Special thanker. Oh look, two J one no Papa. Oh yeah, so that's no Papa's Papa possibly, unless no Papa's Papa is Daddy Daddy Dida. <laughs> Oh yeah, nope, that's... just a just a smirk. Nope, we're gonna get the whole we're gonna get the whole thing. Copyright 1990 Sigma Enterprises. All rights reserved. So this is another All game right that had come out. Callahan. This is another game that had come out on the uh, PC Engine, I think first, or the PC88. Yeah, the PC-88. Yeah, PC but, Engine is just a Turbo Graphics. They were busy yeah, yeah. churning out quality titles like Final Lap Twin. So there you go. That's the end of this uh, this series. It came as a bit of a surprise. I thought that uh, we were going to have... I guess technically off-screen, uh, the other... Because they were like, are you doing all this stuff? So I guess they did pull their weight and defuse the bomb and get the engine working again so we get back to Earth while we were going and breaking a pipe so at the climax of the story the camera moves off the crew doing all the important stuff and just yeah. like here's the guy breaking a pipe there's you go blow up this thing it's kind yeah, of exciting there's there's a lot of 
this this game, I don't know whether or not it's it's a a story like a a, a, a particular story device that's good or bad choice, but um, there is a lot of things happening things happening to the to the uh, main character, the 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 your your analog in the game, your avatar. Um, that he doesn't actually do, and then are just explained to him as having happened later. Hey, well, you were gone, looking for stuff. Yeah, it does seem like that is the only time you can really get game over. But it's possible we could have gotten game over in the fight with Arthur. Uh, we just didn't pick the yeah. wrong option. I felt like when we picked the wrong options with him, it was just like he would. He no, would that's not going to work. To himself, yeah, like shit. I already tried fighting him. There's no way it'll work. Let's run. Yeah. They were trying to, that was the training, the tutorial version of a fight so that when you fought Android 18 instead, you'd be ready to go. It's possible. Now, I will also note, um, I believe I saw on the uh, very beginning screen um, where they had the translation, the translator's notes and everything on there. It said, this translation is not for sale. Now, I remember doing a Google search. And for... seeing it for sale all over the place? Well, seeing, like, here we put together a, like, fan-made uh, copy of Sioblade in, like, clear plastic Genesis cart that's, like, on a board that has been repurposed mm -hmm. uh, and has, uh, you know, we printed up a box that looks like a Genesis box that has Sioblade art on it and all the rest of the stuff, and they're selling it for, you know, like, 40 bucks or whatever. I'm not really sure. Yeah. But, um... And I mean, theoretically, there is some amount of work. Oh, Wolfar, you got here too late. The game was much shorter than we expected. You'll have yeah. to check it out like on YouTube later. To, we almost need to find another um, early, like late '80s, early '90s um, Japanese exclusive uh, anime style sci-fi. Um, dead ship exploration narrative adventure to uh, start on now. I thought there was something that was actually done recently that I was like, oh hey, this would be neat, but we're in the middle of another game right now. Well, like, right. <laughs> Rovar, I'm not ready for bed necessarily yet, although I probably will be calling it a night before I would ordinarily, just because I'm on a slightly different work schedule this week. Oh, are we still uh, recording? For, we uh, are, YouTube? so I'm going to say goodbye to YouTube now before we get, okay. get too crazy. Well, wait, uh, wait, thanks wait, for watching final, the series. What are your final thoughts on the game? My final thoughts on this game were, it, it was pretty good. The story started out a little less uh, good than the Jesus. It started getting there, and then it just stopped. Like, as things started picking up a bit, it yeah. was just like, boom, 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 here's the end. I feel like uh, Jesus Kyofu no Bio Monster was a far simpler story. Mm -hmm. but uh, a far simpler and potentially less interesting story, but it was much better told. Yes, that is Put an that accurate way. description. And then Earth turned to red. Because that was the greatest crisis mankind has ever known. Yes. See you all next time. Bye.